Okay, so we've chosen for tonight the seared chicken of mustard pan sauce with summer sausage and garlic mashed potatoes. So, when you open it up, one nice thing is they give you the nutritional facts. One thing about this stuff is like, it's pretty low calorie. So for instance, uh, the old man glasses. Uh, calories, uh, 580 calories for your meal, uh, 21 grams of fat, carbs, 31 uh, carbs. Uh, it's not health food, but it's better at health So, it also describes here, prep time is 15 minutes, cook time 20, 30 minutes, and this stuff feeds four. So, what you do first, prepare your ingredients. I actually see, I didn't want to bore you with me chopping up stuff. So, we chop the potatoes, sugar net snap, snap peas, we're gonna peel the little thing off, cut up the squash, uh, got the lemons. I thought it said to press the lemons, but that actually said to seed the lemons. So, boil your whole main glasses. And our chicken, we salted our chicken. So, first thing we're gonna do, after we prepare the green, step one is add the potatoes and the garlic to a pan of boiling water. I already added the pan and do it for 14 to 16 minutes. It's kind of interesting, the garlic, like we're not mincing the garlic or anything, we're just sticking the whole garlic in the pan. So we're gonna come over here. Our water already boiling. Thicker potatoes in. Let's try not to scald ourselves. Always nice. There it is. And there's our whole garlic going in there. 14 to 16 minutes. It's at 624. So we'll check it at about uh, 640. So our next step is we're cook our chicken. As I said, one thing you you uh, you do have to have is olive oil. Everything's better with olive oil. So we're gonna put olive oil in our pan. I'm not big on measuring. I just like to eyeball ball. So. Get it around, the pan's already hot. And we're gonna throw our chicken in there. They're big on salt. Every step, they're gonna tell you to put salt on it. Everything's more delicious with salt. So let's throw it in there. Ooh, listen to that. Just like Colonel Sanders would do. Put some more salt and we're gonna wait the uh, chicken cooks up. As you see, it's coming along nicely. Flip it over and check it out. Ooh, that's a tasty one there. Good. That's pretty good. I'm going to rotate this pan a little bit. That one looks really nice. One thing about this particular dish we're cooking, many of the dishes are like extremely gourmet. And we made some stuff like I've never even had any idea how you make. This was a fairly basic dish, but I uh, just wanted to let you know kind of how simple everything is. Okay, so our mashed potatoes are nice and soft. So the next step it says is to drain them. And then return them to the pan. Now it says to add for the olive oil. Remember, olive oil makes everything better. And the olive oil and some cream from Mange Blanc. French, fancy. And we put that in as well. We get a fork and then we are going to smash them up. Just add some salt and smash it up. Like, until I start doing blue apron, it never really dawned on me like mashed potatoes, you actually mash put the potatoes. Don't ask me why, I didn't know that. I think like I always had like mashed potatoes that came in a bag or something. Like I never knew like real mashed potatoes just mashed up. But 
you do. It's amazing what you learn. So, I'm pretty well mashed. I like mine still a little chunky. Not too much, but you see there, it's nice and mashed. Okay, so let's look at our chicken. I guess we just leave it there. Uh, salt and pepper, I forgot my pepper, and a little more salt. Okay. Now let's look at our chicken. Our chicken, I think, is going to be pretty good. Just a few more minutes, but we're going to do the chicken here. All right, when the chicken's done, we transfer it out. We're going to drain a little bit of the oil, but keep some oil in there. But we're not going to scrape out anything in the pan. They call it fong. And the fong gives everything a little bit more flavor. So we're going to basically cook the vegetables with the remnants of the chicken in the pan and the oil from it to give it more flavor. So let's finish this with this chicken and then we'll start with vegetables. Okay, so our chicken's done. I don't like mine quite as done as Carrie does. Carrie really likes her chicken done, which is, eh, I've always been a fan of salmon mess. Sam, salmonella. So, take your chicken out. I've already drank a little grease. And you see in the pan, we got some little remnants of chicken in there. So, uh, and some of the grease. Keep it in there, more flavor, right? So now we're gonna put our snap peas in there. They're frying up already, and the old summer squash. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. And again, our salt and pepper. Nothing wrong with too much salt on it. Potatoes are still right here. They're they're ready to roll whenever we're ready to eat. And we do this for about four minutes or so. So then what's gonna be crazy is then we're gonna put some little salt stuff in there, some mustard sauce, and let's see what we got here. We might put a dog in there too. We got some whole grain dried mustard and we have some butter. See, even butter comes with it. Okay, so our vegetables look mighty tasty. Salted up nicely. Okay, so now what we do, remember we cut up our lemons? We use two lemon slices for a little juice action. Little sizzle bedizzled in there, okay. Not the rind, we don't want the rind. Now we're going to add, excuse me, now we're going to add the mustard in there and the butter, and we reinsert our chicken back in and two tablespoons of butter I don't, excuse me water I already measured it out we'll put that in there and we get that all going nice we're gonna cook that up not very long I think for just a couple of minutes really you see the butter's melting, Mi mixing in with the juices that were already in there, mixing with the butter. We're going to kind of push everything around so we get a little coating of everything. And of course, more salt and pepper. The blue apron and the fan of the salt and pepper. So let's have that cooked down, put it on our plate. We put it on our plate, we're going to use the other two slices of lemon for a little more taste. And we'll see what it looks like. As you can see here, I've already scooped out some of it, but I really have a nice little sauce there. Yeah, I got some potatoes on there, but 
a nice sauce that's cooked in to both the chicken and the vegetables plus you scoop it on top really makes it tasty okay so we're done here we have our chicken our vegetables and our mashed potatoes and Carrie who was so kind to be the cameraman is going to have a little taste of the chicken and see what you think Oh my God, it's delicious. <laughs> it really is delicious. <laughs> I just tried it. We're not saying it's just for the camera, but it really is good. And the vegetables. You want to try some of this? <laughs> Shove it in. That's good. The sauce tastes mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. The mustard and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to eat this up. Now, Blue Apron is not the only food service out there. It's one we've been using for about a year and a half. Now, there's other ones like, there's one called Plated. So how's plate of difference? Well, folks, we'll come back next week because we've been trying plate it for the last month too, and we'll compare and contrast the two. So tune in next time to see how plate it stacks up against Blue Apron. This is Brian and Carrie saying, wish you were here.